that makes me a little bit scared, especially after seeing them fall flat on their face in the second half of Inferno. I think that should be a heaven smoke to some degree. Is it a main split? Are they coming in quick to this A site? That's what it looks like. That is a heaven smoke. And here they go. Yeah, they're gonna pour in. Hugo, you read this one like a book. Molly as well to try and flush this player out from Ooh, default. Beamer. That's nice from Beamas. They are still swinging, they are still fighting, and all oh. the kills in the blink of an eye belong to Mao's. Just me who left standing. And oh, oh frozen. God. That's not the planter. He did not kill the planter. He killed the guy trying to cover the planter. Ran into his teammate, got headshot. Did not matter though, did it? Pistol locked in by Mao Sports. A little costly. But yeah, nice strat as well. It, it doesn't help the DG had no one outside. They were watching a very safe back in A, back in CT. So that smoke cuts off any line of sight or, or a few different options of garage players, credit players, blue players, and just lets Miles pour in through main. Pistol round and a force for EG. Yeah, you know, I see Cirque with a scout outside, I think. You know, maybe you can do some damage here. We've had some great Cirque moments outside on Nuke. But so far, you know, Chance being a fine thing, he's not yeah. been able to find anything through that smoke. A fine thing indeed. Down to B. Sneaky through the smoke. See info's going to get grabbed by Daps. It's always a scary one. I've seen players get headshot trying to do that. Up, Mouse, go. Nowhere to go, but up or down, you just gotta wait for the smoke to fade before you make your decision. They still wanna commit lower. Will Daps allow it? Yeah, Daps might overestimate, you know, the, the, the complications caused by the smoke. Not uncommon to see teams, you know, on the back of seeing that duck out, explore outside a little more, but Mao's, they, they had their minds set on this B play and. One smoke wasn't enough to stop it, but Daps is CZ. How does he get two in one magazine? I didn't even think it had enough bullets to do that. All right. All right. Not out of the woods yet. Frozen will get one. Rops has missed this timing on the vent player. They think vents are clear uh -oh. and they're not. That could cause you big problems. Breezy, nasty surprise, and Cirque Scout chimes in for a kill. Rops has got to make up for this missed timing now. One on three is what they're asking out of him. And another vent oh, player yeah. coming in late. Rops missing every single timing on those vent guys. And EG steal one away with pistols, Hugo. That they do. Sneaky EG on those flanks. And yeah, the last thing that Rops expected was a second man making the play. He missed the first time around. It's going to be EG flipping the script. And they can read upside down. So Mal's going to be hard pressed to force here. We might get a full buy, honestly. Acor could buy AK and we'd have Deagle Armor on everyone else. Or we eco and Acor saves for that AWP. Seems to be the latter here. Mal's giving some respect away to EG, but also they just want guns ASAP. And this is the fastest path to, to that. Yeah, just a small hiccup in the overall game plan. Yeah. Exactly. Daps waiting over here in garage. In his Lamborghini. Yep. Run boost. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Oh. 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 Dead. All right. Frozen's going to Glock one, but dead as well. Big Nate Nate. Tweet. Oh, there it is. Oh. oh. All right. All right, Acorn made a sterner stuff. Oh, we think you're so tough because you survived one need. Oh, well, Daps. Yeah, going to show him what it's all about. Runs him down with the AK and takes that 2-1 lead for EG. But now we've got that reinvestment and Acor even toting an AWP.
Now, now's the time to go for something quick with this orb. Try surprise them. You know, they saw you eco there. I still don't know if they'll expect an orb to be in your arsenal. So maybe, oh. maybe some fights given over that wouldn't normally be presented to a core. And yeah. there he is dealing death to Cirque to open up this round. Now look at Daps mm. flanking secret. And right now, no one from Mouse is even considering oh, this as a possibility. Daps could have so many kills on his plate. It's only one from him, but it's enough to tip the scales in yeah. favor of EG. Oh, it's in tandem with Ogre going through that main smoke with a flash from, I assume, me who threw it from back on CT, no, not me who. And it's somehow Mouse's attention drawn away, and Daps is able to activate me who with a banging shot. Two on three now for Mouse. They've got to dig themselves out of this hole. They could grab the orb if they want it, but Rops don't need it. Rifle will do for him and Bimas. Flashing the hell play. Uh, Bimas moving up, trying to take some space. They are stacked up on the top site right now, too strong, with ramp still in case Lobby is corrupted. And oh, it's corrupted, all right, but by EG forces. Obo, this is a weird position to be playing, but you know you're good for at least one, right? Right? No! Bimas checks it out. And Oboe, desk slam, slam after that, leaving BMAS alone. You know where he is. Going to try and take this 1v1 while he's got it. Doesn't know about the second man. Breezy swap sides. BMAS hunting, but even if he gets his kill, me, who's now got trapped. And Breezy, through the gap, takes him out. Very weird round there. Multifaceted. But EG with some bases and some switches. They lock in a third. Yeah, the CT side, you know, uh, oftentimes when we see EG get the majority of their work done, so this is boding well for them to try and make this a three-map series after all. You know, still early days. Not going to get ahead of myself, but this is certainly more convincing than what we had back on Inferno. Once again, breaking the economy of Mouse Sports. So as Mouse set themselves towards outside, Daps has got free reign with this M4. Free rain. You see how free this is? Ugh. Good nade. Nope. Bad nade. <laughs> you curse everything. It looked like a good nade. I wouldn't have disagreed with this and statement. he's dead to the deal. Yeah, all right. Well, that's all your fault, Harry. Dabs will send you the... Don't worry. Points. They suck here with an orb. There's no way that this goes badly. Yeah. Oh, nice run boost. So, choose it up. Bombs out in the open. And Sirk is wanting a little bit more for it. Scope could kill him here. Oh, goody. Flicks onto Frozen. Almost didn't see him. Eagle. Zach wants an ace. Give it to him. Nope. Oh. Stop cursing. You really thought Breezy was going to give you an ace? Uh, yeah, Obo should have this kill dead to rights. The moment Bimas swings the door, he's a dead man. And it might not. No, oh, I'm. I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> yeah, well, he should be dead here, Harry. One on three. They've got bomb. Twenty seconds. There's nothing that could even feasibly go incorrect in this three v one. No, thankfully with Cirk scoped up in back garage, like Bmas is a hundred percent dead on a swing if he goes for it. And this one, I can promise you. Okay, there we are. Yeah, Thank goodness. Same result, different man. Bomb. Oh, that's a trick shot right there. Bottle flip. Got to be careful. It might explode if you start throwing it around the place. The how EG are approaching it. For example, this round, great, great little case study in what we're just talking about. It's Cirk out there with the orb. And Daps has fast drop B to go and move into that secret position. Maus, they're going to go back to an outside take here with Util. These outside plays have not been kind to Maus Sports yet. I was kind of hoping this would be the round. Maybe they moved away from them, but they're just going back to it. Yeah, and look who's here to confirm and deny. Once again, it's Dabs. Now, the question is, does he go in time? Because it's a main split. Obi's going to get backstabbed. He's still aware of this possibility, but Frozen's not going, mate. He's going all the way round. Now, Maus, hold off. This might even... Oh, no, it's all... Oh, it's all gone tits up. Frozen's dead outside. They probably wanted to fake ramp and double back A. Well, now they're going to commit. They have nothing else to do. Mihu here to lie, lay them to rest. Three kills. 
Be who's the best. Yeah, only Rob's left. I, this is looking really quite dire. Really good out of EG. But Maus can't seem to find solutions. Rob's surely a ooh, lovely little swing onto me who. And now he's going to start to plug in these numbers. The fast rotations are going to get here, though, and they just want to fight him. They just want to deny him a chance to play this one on three. They've spotted him. They've got him pinned. He's running out of ammo. Oh. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong. And EG are up on a five. Bomb has been defused. Counter-terrorists win. This is a good start for EG, right? Miho Ramp. Sick round out of him. Obo seems very aware on uh, on main as well about those raps. Com did to circle with the AWP and, and Dap's down the secret. They've not really had a good time of getting past him either. So we're seeing great, uh, for, great shape for EG on a map that they did not pick in this series, on a map that they very recently lost to Mouse Sports as the first one went that way as well. Or shut through the smoke, hits nothing. Now default smokes for Mouse as they move outside. They're going to run it this time, making a lot of noise as they go down towards lower. Got to wait the molly. Oh, sir, do it. Do it. Not today. And this time Daps is a B. He's getting there, but he's going to be a little bit late. Will he be able to get set up in time as Mouse takes secret? They've got to clear everything, right? Window, single, double. And Daps has been in all of these positions in rounds gone by. So Mal's are very cautious about secret this time. Daps. Wondering why it's quiet at B, and that's because Mal's are taking their sweet time. Yeah, so Rops is hoping to activate like really late and, and disrupt these rotations, but it does hinge on his teammates actually getting into B. And that's been the problem with these lurks a lot of the time. They never really amount to anything, but on this occasion, you get the opener. Oh. Mihu, dead after one as well. You finally traded into a good spot. Yep. And that's a save for EG. Fair enough. I'm still not really sold on these Rops lurks so far. I don't know if it's because, you know, Maus just haven't had the success for them to look pretty. But even in this round, right, like when you get into B and you get those two openers, well, the save call comes in right away. Rops never even sees anyone. Admittedly, right, he could have cut down rotations, but he's never given those fights. It just feels like he's kind of not really got to play into any of these rounds yet. And, you know, he was also pretty quiet back on Inferno. I don't want this to be a series where the guy on Mouse, yeah. like the star, is always left looking for players that he that he's never really given a chance to fight. Still time to walk back in, and that's a nice round out of Mouse. Look at this spam kill as well. You often see people do that with orbs, but uh, perfect first frag into B. Daps wait so long down lower with no sound cues, no info, and then suddenly as he's ready for the multi kill, just spammed out, mate. Traded one for one on the ramp player, and Niles win the round off the back of that alone. Sack so still got his up at least, and a good bit of money in the pocket. Niles, have they got the depth on this T side? They've only shown us really outside control and smoke plays, and either going secret or wrapping towards the back of CT. This is a Alexi B flash. They're going to pop in through that hut. Not. They actually call it off. Oh, Frozen. Yeah, it will flick back in time. All right, this is now a nice spot to be in if you're Mouse. You're finally in an untraded 5 on 4. Oh, I'm getting nervous. Don't get ahead oh, of yourself. the door spams. They always make me scared. Oh, oh my God, Dexter. He's somehow still alive, still kicking. Dexter lives to fight another day. It's not like you even have an orb to give him. Just got to make do. And no util either. Send him in first. Trade him out. What are Mal's doing with this? They still are waiting forever. Frozen is right up silo. Waiting with his uh, team, or for his team rather. Finally, the main rap coming in. But you don't have a lot of room for error. Uh-oh. Phew. 
Yeah, in they go. They need to check not only the whole oh. roof, but the CT vent surge dropped into the site, and he's putting up one hell of a fight. The bomb is dropped out in the open. There's 20 seconds left here, and Surg, they're in a spot where they've got oh. to fight him. Luckily enough, Close. Rops will catch him on the swing. Surg was maybe a millisecond away from making that shot connect. Yeah. But there the hairs, you're splitting in this kind of situation, right? When you've got guys this fast going head to head. Mao's up onto three. Reinvestment still pours through for EG. That's thanks to you know, this big streak that they were on. Yeah, nice uh, play there for Acor as well, right? With him and Robs in the 2v2, like you said, the bomb was open. And if Acor swings there and Cirque takes him down, that's what he's trying to do, get rid of that main player. He was there. Uh, Robs is screwed. He probably doesn't have time. He has to go through hut or door. So Robs makes it cool. You know, wait, let me take that first contact trade, me. Trade not needed. Mal's make it down outside, although it's costly for Frozen at least. No orb for Cirque. Wanted to drop guns instead. Oh, there's the spot, but it goes both ways, and oh dear, the messy nade, spray. The nade. Nade. Yep, run. Just about Acor will live. 12 health doesn't matter with an orb. Not like it would with a rifle. Mouse are very lucky to be alive, and they've seen two lower at least. That might change their mind. Look at the confidence on Daps, bro. Like, he he saw that tag, and he knows, like, in this kind of situation, you are likely to, to not want to recommit and to be anymore. Now he is the footsteps up above him. He's called for this second B player to yeah. rotate back up. And Daps is making a, a lot of room here for EG at the very, very least, giving them a lot of info, a much better picture of how this round is playing out. And with Oboe taking an advantage now, it's going from bad to worse for Mao Sports. Oh, Oba gets tagged up by that orb. Won't finish the job, though. They want to take A, they want to split main, and everyone's here to deliver the pain. Breezy with a double bomb drop, four on two, and Acor, that second he turns, is a second Daps activates. Low health Rops now, and as good as he can be, this is not a clutch for Rops. 15 on the clock, and me who spams him through the corner of the door. This is a, a bit messy for Mao's. They're looking l like they're lacking direction. Getting scared at the first sign of trouble. And just trying to make up for it with these A splits. That, ooh, uh, even when they do come through, are so close. Leaving not much room for error. Well, that time there's error. I just want a round where Rops is in with the team as well. Like, the, the, the reads on this, like, he's been caught by bad timings a lot. And as mentioned, like... It feels like all of his lurking is destined around this idea that, like, the rest of the game plan goes flawlessly. And, and it's just not right now for Mouse. And they don't have anyone that's able to bail them out of these spots. I hope that this round with Frozen going alone outside, he's going to be the guy taking that lurking role. And it looks like Rops is going to instead be the guy to try to open up this path through ramp. I'm already more of a fan of this round. Now, that from Frozen was ballsy, we'll call it. And Rops is dead right away. But there is a response from Acor. So that's yeah. something. Oh, Mihu. That's nothing. He gets out alive, though, and keeps the four on three, which is fine. Four EG again. Breezy's down lower, taking up the mantle. Daps will join him. Not far behind Breezy. Oh, I don't know if they'll be ready for this deep angle in the corner. He has that cross. Trying to get the jiggle timing. BMAS dead. Breezy just trying to live right now. Dax comes through the door. Now Breezy's dead as well. It's not gone well for EG. They had a four on two. Plant is coming in. Oboe is calling for help. And EG have got to retake this. Oh, lovely for Dexter. Although he is still hanging around. He's going to fall back into window. Uh, just hold for this. Just hold. Wait to win it. Mihu, not an impossible round by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, oh what an it angle. doesn't check yeah. deep enough for Dexter, who's hidden in the little goblin hole. Four on the board for Mouse. And look, man, all I'm saying is, just so happened to be the round that Frozen was outside, Rob's one with him. Now, neither of them, they both died immediately, but I'm still <laughs> claiming four yeah, credit. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> right, fully right. That's a calculated <laughs> three on five win.
It's all under control. It's all what we expected. Nice round out of Mouse. That's got to be a big one to win to keep their money in this. And to most importantly, do the opposite, the inverse to each. It just, it just felt like you actually had, like, you know, Frozen or us both weren't afraid to, like, run in and take one for the team, essentially. Like, you actually had the, the guys to, to, to start the pace off at a high note. That's been kind of missing in these last few rounds. And obviously, stellar little round out of Dexter and Aiko. Beautiful. Always nice. Look what it's done to the economy of EG. Brought them to a bit of a weird spot now. If ours were going to get back into this, this is exactly where they'd want to be. They win this one, no money for EG, and suddenly Maus are looking for the lead. Yeah, these orgs have been carrying EG through rounds, though. And look at that double face from Hell and Heaven at the same time. Maus crossing, they get into Garage. You can see EG are very cognizant of this possibility. Oh, shots almost connect for Acor. Mal's move all the way through Breezy. It's a hard angle to clear. Once they know he's there, he's in hot water. But, oh, Team Dink and a good bit of information off of that. Breezy fires off from the rafters, taking down Acor. Oh, no, the two Orcs, they're doing it all right now. Three kills. Mal's calm in a gunfight to save their life. And two guns is all you need. Rops, he's on his own now, Harry. Yeah, and he's saving. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, dear. What do you make of that one? Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Any York fans? Like, it, it's a really, really nice round out of EG. They have these great crossfires set up, but also, like, for, for Maus, I don't know. I think lacking direction is, is a very, very good way of looking at it, right? Like, they get garage, and then it feels like they don't really know what they want to do with that yeah, control once true. they've got it. And it also feels a bit like, you know, I keep right. You know, you know, you know that scene from The Incredibles where like there's that kid on the bike and he's like, "Ah, oh, I'm just waiting for something amazing to happen." I guess <laughs> that's how I feel about <laughs> Rops right now. Like, I'm just looking yeah. at him on the map and I'm like, "Come on." Me too, kid. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> yeah, just anything really for Mouse. I don't know. Even the rounds they win are, I don't want to say unspectacular, but uh, pretty run of the mill. Pretty. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This, this is a weird game. EG are doing a great job to make Maus uncomfortable, though. Is there any more? That's more like it. That's something incredible. And Mr. Incredible Rob's backing out outside to join his team. With this is so much kill. better already, mate. Yeah. He, he took an opening fight, something that no one else has really wanted to do for Mouse Sports. He wins it. Big gap. And now he's joined the rest of the crew on this cross into secret. Yeah, big gap. It's fine. They get the info, but look. Uh, I'm already telling you, it's going to be such a better round. Oh, Daps I can't Orp. wait. Daps Orp? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's see what he can do. Uh -oh. They're going to try and boost up over the top of it. Rops, Ooh, oh, the guy no. up on the boost. And he goes out now. They know they've got a timing. What? There's Vmas with one. Daps, they've got him trapped. CZ out. Oh, and he's what? trying what? to get away. What? Running. Have the B-side. Have the round, boys. I'm out of there. Zerg wants this next. I'm going to have to save the Orp. Breezy, though, still trying to hold on. Trying to keep B as his domain. And Maus, they just go so quiet here. They wait for the kills to come to them. Obo gives them exactly that. One side of ramp smoked. They have another available, but Dex has got to focus on the plant first. Easy. Oh, good. Yeah, smoke's getting used. Replenished. Molotov in dark. And Maus being methodical. Breezy, this is done. Daps is already saving his all. I don't know how Daps got away with that. I don't know why he thought he would. But he did. And all I'll say is yeah. so far, every time Rops has been there with the squad, or he's taken an opening fight, they've gone on to win the round. It tracks. It tracks, yeah. Hugo. Yeah. That's not incorrect. So Mouse can still recover this again, right? Bear in mind, like, what they came into this round with. It was basically next to nothing. You know, we, we needed something out of, uh, out of those AKs that were saved slash bought into this round and they provide and boy do they provide in a big way stealing a fifth and still in with a chance to win the half after all here's the replay of this open up Dab's got timed as well, you know, some of these some of these unlucky seconds of, you know, pulling a flash as they boost, moving sides as they peak wide, 
Still got one with him, but would have wanted so much more. And this one for EG is not a lock in by any means. Seven to five, but Mal's are starting to remember what it's like to win. Sending drops him first, fast on ramp. Can he get this opener? He could just drop you into B right now. No one's supporting. Cirque is back in that A site. He can't help out. Mihu doesn't need help often, but that smoke is very deep. And Rops has lurked his way in. Oh, he is about to get peeked from hell, but he's wider than the orb will realize. Oh, Rops Mihu. spotted and Mihu deals with him. Sheesh. Not a trade in sight either. Everyone else went back into the lobby. It's a nice try. I admire the play. No, right, yeah. And he knows he's hit this timing. He's not worried about the orb, but that was just me who's stepping up and he's continuing it, mate. Like, don't want to be these guys facing off against him when he's looking this good in the ramp room. How the hell do you recover this? You need a molly behind Breezy. We have a couple available, but you also don't want to give it up. Give it away. Three on A, dropping in his circle with your perfect silent timing. And he gets headshot. Doesn't matter. Breezy molly now. The jig is up, and Breezy has been dropped. Uh oh. Hot roof. Primas needs the headshot. The spray is messy. Ovo delivers the goods. Two for him. Acor, low on time and low on chance. It's EG finding eight. That was a damn good try in a three on five, finding both opening kills. But whoo, Ovo holds strong. If BMAS gets that kill, done round, mate. Mouse sports all day. For me, who's the man of the hour with his double, and Oboe as well. These rounds, man. Yeah, I mean, that was lovely. Did Oboe's like a spinning top up yeah. on top of Hurt? Like, whoo, can't hit what you can't see. At least that's what they say. Yeah, you can see, man, Mitha looks stressed. Like, he doesn't look like he's having a fun time right now. I can't imagine, you know, Mao's are. I feel like they, they think that they have more to offer here. Rob's lining up this top hot molly. Maybe we're going to have a nice little fast A split, perhaps. You know, there's a main smoke going in, but with pistol players outside frozen on a Galil, they can look to go through that. This might end up being nothing more than a ruse with like a late lurk out of frozen again. Now just waiting with this utility to pop them into A. One thing that's pretty big is that there's not a lot of like stopping utility in this A bomb site anymore. The nearest thing is Cirque's Molly, but I think that's all the way down in hell, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So he's not going to be here to like slow down the A push with that Molotov, which means you've just got to win it on these fights. And you're going to get pushed out of position by all this utility that reigns in. They haven't checked the rafters. Breezy allowed to just tear them down and Obo with this swing. Devastating hold there from EG. Beautiful. Everyone ready to dodge those flashes. The mollies that rain in don't displace anyone. That's the fear of going for like a late AXEC in a round like that when you have nothing else and no other map control. It's like EG are going to be stacked A. They're going to be triple A because why else would they? You know, the, the ramp's clear. They don't need a health player. The outside's clear. Don't need a heaven player. So why not just sit on the A site and wait for a pop play? Mal's just feed them right there. They run into the stack. Nice read from EG. The Bows haven't really shown much on this A site. I would have loved some, you know, spawn-based A takes if they had the executes. I don't know how well drilled they are. We see teams like Ents doing it a, a lot right now in their group against Astralis. They had those excellent top hits. Astralis-esque. And so, yeah, I, I, you know, Mal's have tried a lot of different things in this T side, but they have neglected A other than these main splits. Right, 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 right now aren't really going well. R that was the remix, re yeah. Here we go. The, ro the Rops remix, maybe? Oh, uh, no. Scratch disc. Three on five. And this record's getting shattered. Throw it. Who is, uh, is down in this, uh, down in this B-bomb site. Just waiting on the rafters. In a very grimy spot, you kind of blend in with the background here. There we go, Femas dead. Shaw Frozen trades it, you're not worried yet, even though these two on fours have been 
A mouse sports route to success. This shouldn't be one of those routes, oh. but maybe it is. Uh-oh, Frozen's Deagle pops off. Acor's still holding back in the site. They do deal with Frozen. Now they just got to flush out this Acor Deag. He knows that both players are at ramp. With that smoke flowing over, he's her in the footsteps. He's trying to play around this bomb, and they have gone round him. Acor, smoke on it, not planted for him. Deagle damage for the first. Daps is not on the bomb either. He's given that oh. up now, and he will lock it in. Just enough time left. 10 to 5 for EG, and they're well on their way to recovery. The first half of play. Pissed around matters a lot here. And so what have EG got cooked up for us? Fast out ramp. Rops with a double setup here, and they clear Acor instantly. Rops has to drop. He can't hold on. They're going to hound him down. Rops with two. This is more like it. Rops cooking with fire right now. Three shots. And three on two. Bomb faked out. Obo forces a fight, and they double down. Obo takes two kills. What's going on? It's just Dexter. It's all fallen apart. Mouse, this was perfect. Baited by the fake. And are they really going to go up? Quick shot for Dexter. No way he's... No way he knows. Oh, Oboe is already hunting. through. He was going to go up, but instead he wants to kill. That could have let him down. Oh, yes. no! Dexter with a round. Obo could have just gone up the vent. Dude, okay, I know. That's like... Oh, Obo's just feeling confident. Yeah. And he's like, look, the last, thing, didn't the last thing he's going to expect is for me to fight this. Obo says, I know this is a dumb play, and that's why I'm going to do it, because he won't expect it. Oh. But that's the downside with when you do something like that, right? Because if it Got does fall short, shot. you go, oh, why did you do that for? He had to hit it, man. He had to hit it. Dexter's just caught in the open. Other than that, incredible Great pistol shots. round out of Obo. That's the yeah. saddest part. Well, for nothing, though, comeback is on now, and you know it. It's in the back of your head if you're EG. That is going to, like, live to haunt you if, if like, ha <laughs> What was that? Right. Haunt you. That's going to live to haunt you if, uh... Haunt. Yeah, haunt. sorry. I've ne I just never heard you say No, haunt. I know. Yeah, haunt. H-O-N-T. No. Haunt. Frozen. The goose is loose, and Oboe's pistols keep it up. The bomb's on main roof, Harry. That sucks. Ah! Well, don't worry. You know that... Oh, never mind then. I was going to say, you know that video of, like, the, the viral music video from the day with the, the, the like, country singer screaming in the mountains? Ah! No. Come on. Come on, bro. You no. must know what I'm talking about. Absolutely no clue. Oh Sorry, my God, Harry. Dude, Your references aren't always lost on me, but uh, that's pretty specific. It's, it's pretty not unique. that specific. It blew up. I don't know how you can't know it. Well, doesn't matter. It's fine. Harry's Harry's kind of going, uh, we're sitting in the car on the way to work. He's playing tracks. He's like, no, you'll, not, you'll know this one. I'm right. Like, you I, know, I know, as an out of the Bloodhound gang, that, that is not on me. I don't recognize that it. That is like, not no, on no, me. Just wait till the chorus. I listen to the chorus. No, I didn't. No, no, wait till the next verse. Like, not even Still Bad Touch. Everyone knows that song. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Right, well, look about. at this. Me, who's got a bad touch right now. He's dead to Dexter. Oh, oh Fox drop. This? Uniform Charlie and Kilo there for Breezy. Circ and Daps left in a two on three. They've got all this outside control. No one gets these. <laughs> Sorry. I swear to God. <laughs> Just talk about it. Say some boring words. Go on. Oh, BMAS. Lobby bound, and it's heaven. The stairway to heaven for EG. They're up. They're over. But they're not out of the woods. There are bears in these woods. <laughs> nice. Rops has got the bear trap on ramp. Oh, that's Don't good. step in that's it. That's important to deal with the bears. Yeah, how else are you going to do it, Rops? Lots of damage. That's a bomb, but we're waiting on the heaven player who won't get anything. We've got a guy down lower and lobby control. Daps is like, mate, yeah. try and get up here. Daps, is, uh, Daps has got the right to bear arms here, yeah. right? Holding down the A-bomb. Sight is going to drop in. And will they be ready for Daps playing the rafters? They should acknowledge that heaven could be taken. I don't know if you'll expect them to be swinging so widely. Yeah. That's why I kind of love it. Mm. Sucks low as well. This is really hard. He's going to get his molly out nice and quick before they chase him down. Buys a bit more time. There's still kit. There's double smoke. You're not going to use it, though. Sir, can't jump anymore. They know he's here. They know he's still trapped at the back. And he's waiting for Daps, who does find Rops right below. Frozen with one. Sir, can they clear him out? BMAS in the hut. Just enough time for Miles to win that retake. It's a nice try from the two on EG, but Miles are picking up pieces.
bit by bit, getting back into the city half. First gun round, tick, done. Oh, that bug, don't like that. You could see him through the smoke, often helped out by a grenade, and the smoke will, uh, will give you that vision. If you don't laugh, you'll cry. I'm still just haunted by the memory of like what could have been for EG if okay, the pistol so. round hadn't played out the way it had. And you know, these are thoughts that will creep into your mind as the EG side as well. So let's hope they can try to get back on top of this. Now to say there's a gap in that smoke is disingenuous. There's a smoke mildly in the gap, I guess would be a better way of looking at it. But they still managed to cross down secret. The bomb I think was spotted. So an early rotation out of Dex, they're going to be called for. And he gets set up down on B, but not over committing yet. Still holding on to this outside control. Pressure is now on for Dexter. If he falls, suddenly that B site is called into question. Suddenly you're shuffling players around that you really can't afford to move. So he's got to stay alive. Yoink! Acorn catches, taps as he falls off the main roof. Frozen softened him up on the way down. Gravity almost did the job. Now it's up to Dexter. Double down, make it almost three, but almost won't be making it. Hobo 10 health. Acorn wins his fight on the lurker, and now it is just Obo locked and loaded down in the lower site, and so is Rops. There's no getting out of this one. Obo up the vent might even be your best bet with only one man on A, but BMAS is holding it. And so, here it is. Or maybe it's a save. I would actually prefer that. And Obo would too. Still, there's no ignoring the uh, the road to recovery that Mao's are on. EG still yet to find a single T-side round. They save an AK here on Obo, but that's really where the... Uh, where the weaponry begins and ends for EG. So what can the Magic Oboe do with the one hero rifle? Low start to the round here, working these outside smokes, looking to be the game plan for EG. Now lob them up and over. Mouse will probably realize this is the one AK as well. They've heard it fire off outside. They know the money's in tatters. He's going through with a flashbang. No one to be seen, but only heard Frozen. He knows they're here. He's told Acor to post up all oh, the run boost to cross to the other side. And ha, Frozen's ready for it. Rifle gone. Flash is good. And Frozen is better. Double shot into Acor or Obo, Obo and Sir, rather. Helped by Acor. BMAS wins a fight on top. And Acor challenge. Frozen provides cover. And BMAS is ready to close the round. Breezy. Chill. Yeah, that should be, you know, it. Uh, that should be it. <laughs> I don't know how the top up player didn't kill him. Yeah. Dexter was actually looming over the top of him. <laughs> so Mao's now five in a row to tie us up at 10 to 10. EG, once more, don't want to remind us, but <laughs> oh, that pistol round. Ooh, Ooh, this is where you start to go, oh, well, if only, if only, right? Don't think about it. Yeah, I'm getting a little worried, but this is their best buy yet. Very reassuring, I will say, to see that Mouse Sports have been able to even launch this recovery, right? They yeah. looked pretty out of it at the end of that first half, so this is a treat to see. They've still got it. They chose not to get the AWP on Circuit. He has the, the money spare. He can save it for a next rifle, right? Uh, regardless of when that comes in, but for now, I thought we were going to get a faster one out of EG. Maybe they do just want to crunch ramp or A. 
They've done some smokes out. They've sold the fake. They've forced Acor down lower, but he's fine. He's got all the info. Guys, no one's B. Don't panic. Don't rotate. Hold your spot. It's a fake. Yes, they can go garage and, and slit the net and wrap CT, but that's why Frozen's dispatched outside to deal with it. It leaves A fairly weak. Only Rops on ramp. And so A is a good a take right now for EG. B mass hot roof and Dexter not far from it. Oh, even the little tag is a little tiny droplet of info. Smoking main, it's all becoming too clear to a guy like Dexter Vimas. Ooh, didn't mean to fall off. He's going to get back up on top and oh, shreds them. Running around the place, gives Obo a taste of his own medicine. Yeah. Do you remember when Obo did that to Mouse? Well, there's a little hand dealt back his way. This time by the Nuke Spray King. Yeah, he saw Dexter on the roof last round. I was like, mate, you didn't even cover me. If you're going to do that again, I want the spot. <laughs> Give me hot roof. I will show you how it's done. And boy, does Dude, Vimas has had so many, uh, you know, like, great spray moments on this yeah. new cave on site. Guys, sick aim, sick control. Not just the transfers, which, you know, don't always come in. Like, obviously, just because you can do it doesn't mean it's always appropriate. But uh, right there, the spacing's a bit Ooh, weird. Ramp rush. And Vimas does everything. Now it's Rops' his turn. Line up and he's a dead man free org for eg just redeem the ticket at the checkout will, will anyone get it it's free there we go daps has picked it up and towards b they go this is still very hard for mouse right now they are not in control of this round do not be surprised yeah, it could get weird. You need someone to kind of try to contain oh. this a little. Yeah, Breezy, funnily enough, you know, they ain't going to fall for the spot they used against Yarl earlier on. Oh, oh Frozen, what? there's a wall, there's a door, there's a, there's a smoke. But still, he's dropped the bomb out of the open. Nade could have finished off the job on Wobo. Frozen is the guy regaining control of lower. Yarl didn't realize it, but you're all just NPCs in a Frozen world, baby. Look at him. Baron Icy lands. And EG is stuck in it. They can't move. Tongue on the lamppost. Help. <laughs> <laughs> no. Frozen. Oh, they're going to run at him. They will get rid of him. Ice, babe. The ice is thawed. Beamass will bring it back into a mouse round by the looks of things, right? With low HP on me, who. Daps is feeling the bulk of the pressure, but he's not crumbled under it. Little ugly from BMAS over at Ben. Now the other two oh. are out through ramp and Dexter's taking heads off. It's all eyes on me who now yes. in this 1v2. Yes. Acor and Dexter moving in. The orb less than ideal here, but Dexter will lock the round in. Still, EG yet to field a T side round while oh. Mouse, they keep racking them up. Don't talk about the pistol, mate. Don't do it. 12 to 10, and yeah, this is, this is not pretty. This is, like, I wasn't, ha I did not like Mauser's T side. Flat out, just gonna say it, wasn't good. EG were controlling the map, EG had all the info, Daps called every fake down on the lower bomb site. The one round Mauser went A, it was stacked, like, it was awful. This is worse. This is, and, and that's the side of, I don't even wanna say it's worse, because EG are getting in good positions, they're getting into winnable rounds, they're getting into these clutch 2v2 post plants with really cool rounds, but then Mauser, it matters this firepower, their individuals are bailing them out. Think about some of the situations that EG have been in. The Mouths were never in, right? The two on two with Daps up in uh, in the rafters above Hut and Cirque behind the bomb site. Right there, that four on two or three v three rather, down on B. You know, Mouths never had these opportunities. And so no surprise they only got five rounds. EG have had plenty of chances and Mouths just running rings around them. Rocks drops Obo, Breezy dead through a smoke. And it's not getting any better. Oh, Acor, I like the ballsiness of that. Trying to use the momentum from the ladder to steal away another. But still, you know, like the Orps have done a great deal to open this round up for Mouse. And Rops is still keeping you guessing as to where his lies. Beamass is holding for this rotation. Uh, whoa, no, hang on. Timing is everything. Yeah, they're aware of this possibility, but the longer you're kind of going without seeing it, especially yeah. with Rop set up in hell, the more you're going to discount it. Me, who also has a bomb, so he wants to wait for his team to be exactly oh, in wait. position, because if, they, if they're not and he dies, it's all over. I mean, it doesn't matter where they are, I guess, if he does die, but he wants to make sure they're yeah. keeping enough attention, enough time between him and this play that Miles has stopped considering it. BMAS, oh dear, he's dead. That's the bomb. Me, who might just have to throw it onto the ground inside now. This is still risky. 
risky right now. He could die to this hell player, f uh, fumbling with nades, and he just oh, dies up heaven. That's the round. Well, that's the Done. Round. Run it back. Uh, end it. Go 13 10. There's nothing EG can do. Yeah, and Mao's know it. Like, all of them are just scrambling to go and hide. I and just then they go back in and take the fight. I would agree. Just, just throw, throw it the bomb down. The site. Throw it down. That nothing can go wrong at that point. You, the bomb cannot cause you to lose a round if you just lob it onto the ground. But instead, he's pulling nades. He's probably talking to his teammates. He's trying to work out where their second man is. But yeah, I, like there's no way you can lose. Well, sorry, there's not. There's no way you can lose round. But there's no way the bomb can lose you the round if yeah. it's on the A site. Yeah, you would at least have options, yeah. right? Like the moment he's dead and the bomb's heaven, that, that's it. And Mao's knew that as well. They were never going to give you the fights to win that one through kills. Uh, so EG are getting so s scared right now. They're getting a little bit trembly, Harry. I think. They're realizing they're botching this opportunity and they're going to go 0-3 in the group if they don't suddenly have this second win in the second half. Mal's are on an eight-round streak on this half alone. This has just been a map of CT sites. And, okay, Ooh. Mihu with an opener. That is lovely. Finally, a kill that goes untraded. And it goes untraded and it's all fine. And they get into B. And not a trade in sight. Oh my god. Oh, oh coulda, coulda. There was something there for Dexter, yeah. but unfortunately, you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. EG, they're going to get their first T side round right here and now. All right. Okay, so it takes them eight rounds to find their first. But it's a step in the right direction. Only downside is you're a long way away from getting any freebies. That much is certain. Especially with how prominent, you know, saves can be when rounds end like that. Yeah. You're not going to be riding the high of any weak economy investments out of our sports for a long time yeah. to come. So this is a real grind for EG, a real test of their metal. I was trying to make a read. Look at this stack. They've been three outside from the get-go. The orb even crosses red, blinded. Acorn doesn't fire out of fear, and that's good. Robs, this is a dangerous position to get more than one. Is optimistic, and Robs will do it justice. Two frags off of the orb. Outside, Obo has his knife out. He wasn't ready for so many men back behind red. Traded. Three on two, and this outside read was wonderful for Maus, but it's already evaded, and that's when EG have finally moved in with the bomb. Mihu is crossing, Cirque is coming as well. He's just going to be a little bit late, and they're scared of ramp. This is a nice redirection for EG. Maus are completely playing for a ramp play right now. That's where they saw the bulk of this team. At a certain timing, someone's got to turn. BMAS watches lobby, Dexter just patrolling, and you can see from their positions alone that they're just scared of this ramp to be. And that's not happening. Will Mihu clear this? Looks possible. Frozen's tucked in, though. So it's not like Mihu's going to get the angle. Not yet, at least. Oh, he's going to get the drop if he turns. But he won't turn. And Frozen, freebie. Bomb dropped again. Cirque spotted. Frozen doesn't need to fight. Can use Util, can just stay alive. And Cirque, anything. Nice shot through the box. But Frozen just re-peaks and wins the round. Oh. Such an unfortunate turn of events for EG. Felt like they had that one. Well, not had it, but they made the perfect play. They outread Mouse Sports, but they didn't clear their corners. And to think A was open the entire time with only B Mass and Hut. This is insane from Robs. You don't do that with, with an M4. I can tell you that much. You do not get a double with an A4 in that position. That's an org spot right there. Mate, shout out Frozen one time as well. Like, this guy's been incredible yeah, across both maps. Like, he, he's been the one to keep your attention on. It was the case back on Inferno. It's the case Ouch. here. Not just in terms of, like, putting up big numbers. He's not been, like... You know, it's not just like I'm sat here going, oh, his reactions are incredible. Like, it, it, it's actually how he's positioned himself, the fights he's taken, the, the, the kind of areas of the map that he's 
positioning to and when he's doing it, it's all been perfect. Yeah. He's had really good reads on an individual level. And it mattered on, you know, the first map especially, high impact, uh, you know, a lot of rounds one alone, and Rops is quiet as well. Now this time Rops is second. He's actually had a really good game yeah, ever since he started warming up, getting those T-side picks, openers, and now on the CT half as well. These ramp doubles are lovely from Rops. So, yeah, the, the cast is stepping up around Frozen, and EG got a lot of real estate in this round that's really it obo in garage everyone else trapped back lobby side gonna meet him at ramp maybe but we've got a guy setting up t roof utility breezy's gone from radio rocks can he get out alive oh dexter activates the perfect time dropping the bomb rocks could even stay he wanted to leave but now he's got the package at his feet yeah and he's gonna hang around oh. he hears the tag and so he knows daps is nice coming shot. but Ooh, hey, caught. that's the bomb again Zerg waiting in the back of lobby. Obo's over in main. I think they would have heard that one step. Frozen yeah. should have. And now they know. Oh. Obo won't get given this fight he's so desperate for. And with Sick the bomb top. still at ramp, there, there physically isn't time to do anything in this round if you're EG. There yeah. is no path to recovery. There is no redemption arc. It's 15 for Mouse Sports, and you're saving an AK and an AWP. One round on this T side. Is all they've managed to muster. They now need four in a row. See, it looks messed up, but EG actually had a plan there, and that's what I mean when I, uh, I was talking about how it felt like EG's had a lot more opportunity. Um, you know, that was a, a nice idea. They got Obo in Garage, no info from Owls. They wanted to go ramp. They had a util set up. They wanted to go ramp, maybe show, maybe get that hell, that float ladder player to rotate hell and ramp and, and try and assist. That would give more room for Obo, who's, again, being completely discounted in Garage, to either flank A or flank ramp, and then you can play off the back of Obo's position. You just wanted to bait some rotates. It's it's Rops pushing into radio, dropping the bomb that turns that entire round into a recovery mission. EG never get to do what they want, and Obo's left in the mud. Cirque switching off, and Frozen switching on. Two kills, and that might just be the game. Oh, yeah, Rops is looking to make it happen. Him and Frozen delivering in this second half in a very big way. And so can he close it out with something stylish? Oh. No, Daps will best him in the head-to-head -head again. But is this just false hope for EG to cling to? Yeah, they've got a little bit of room at ramp, but you can bet that Mao's are going to be quick at snatching this real estate back. Frozen, not melting in the molly, and that there is just devastating. Mihu dead. Daps trades. He does what he can, but now he needs to come up big in the one-on-three.